family and our businesses. He was not afraid to go out on a limb to help me untie the several knots that actually came up as our organization grew and flourished. He was proud to be part of my success story, and I'm proud to name him my devoted friend, mentee, and brother. <clears throat> Harvard's wise counsel and relentless support was central to the growth and expansion of our organization, the Dangote Group. My family and I will forever cherish his warm friendship and heart of care. It is really very difficult to find another Howard. I owe him an eternal debt of gratitude. Although Herbert never joined the military line, he could be referred to as a soldier of courage and distinction. The incredible courage he exemplified in overcoming adversity and the discipline he manifested in achieving managerial standards of the highest order was awesome. His inexpressible energy and the capacity for total concentration was extraordinary outcomes gave me the ray of hope, strength, and unflagging zeal to keep sight on my ultimate goal in my business. His big, sh uh, his big push led my foray into the previous uncharted oil and gas sector, which is now central to our growth as a conglomerate. Herbert will always remind me that, look, my mentor, we will get there, just hang in there, and we will beat any imagination. I remain eternally grateful to Harvard, who immensely supported me in the completion of our project, and he said that, look, my mentor, if I have to give you my life, I will do so. Let's carry on. <laughs> Harvard courage was second to none, and he was really, really fearless. He was never scared of anything. How about Herbert and I share a common principle of perseverance, which is one of the cardinal virtues of success in business. Harry Truman, the 33rd president of uh, America from 1945 to 1953, once recounted in his memoirs that being president is like riding a tiger, and a man has to keep riding or be swallowed. A president has to be cons constantly on top of events, or if he hesitates, events will soon be on top of him. I never felt I could let up a single moment Herbert prodded me when I hesitated, gave me a nudge when I was weak, and consoled me with the words of my mentor, hang in there. We will remain, you know, he will remain unforgettable, friend, mentee, and a brother, and I feel that I'm part of the family. Bidding farewell to a brother, mentee, and a very, very loyal friend, his blood wife, Chizoba, and his son, Chizi, is an extremely arduous task for me. But I'm consoled by the fact that Herbert has run a successful race and has gone to a better place. To immortalize my beloved friend, my brother and mentee, I have actually decided to name our major refinery and petrochemical road out of the 120 kilometer, the biggest road will be now named Herbert Wigwe. Because what I want is that after we have all gone, 
people will still be there, visit the refinery and they will find out who was this Herbert Wigwe. He was a man loved by all and his boundless energy and uncommon zeal resonated in a life worthy of emulation. His friends remain a template in loyalty. May the Almighty God grant him and all the departed eternal rest and give the entire Wigwe family, which I'm part of the fortitude to bear this huge loss. Herbert Wigwe, rest in peace. Thank you.